Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something I am so excited about and I just think is going to be so fun. So I hope you guys also think it's fun. Obviously, Gilmore Girls is like everybody's favorite TV show. I certainly love it. I know there's probably a lot of you that love it as well. And clearly, Rory Gore... Gormore? What? And clearly, Rory Gilmore is a reading icon. Like, honestly, do I believe that a... 16, 17 year old is reading Moby Dick, maybe not, but by the same token, still an icon. You know what I'm saying? So obviously she reads a lot of classics. Obviously she reads a lot of big brain books. And I thought it would be fun in this video to do the Rory Gilmore reading challenge, which is a website. There's like a website for it where you can go through and see every book that's been mentioned on the show and you can like click them if you've read them and it'll give you like a percentage of what books she's read that you've read. I've seen a bunch of people do this and I thought it looked really fun and I just think like the end of November is the perfect time to do a Gilmore Girls related video. So I hope you guys are excited. I'm certainly excited. I even have on my Rory Gilmore sweater which is literally just like what I call any white sweater because of the first episode but I'm excited nonetheless. So we're just going to get into it and we are going to see what percentage of these books that I've read. I also thought it would be fun to like guess now what percentage of them that I've read um, because I'm not really, you know, a classics girly. I have read a few and not like all of these are classics, but I'm just gonna guess like 20%. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be very high, but I do think that this will still be just something fun to do. Also something else that I'm gonna be doing in this video that I think is gonna be really fun is choosing like two or three of these that I haven't read like off of this list and putting them on my 2023 TBR. So you can also see a little sneak peek into my reading plans for next year because I do want to read more classics because I've read just a few classics this year and a lot of them I've actually really enjoyed. So obviously I should read some more. So I thought that could also be something to throw in here. So let's get into the challenge. I am literally so excited to see how this goes. Not starting off hot, have not read 1984 or The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn or Alice in Wonderland, which is one that I do want to get to at some point, just because I love the Disney movie, obviously. And I kind of want to read the story. An American Tragedy, no. Angela's Ashes, no. However, can I get like a fourth of a check for Anna Karenina? Because I am in the middle of it right now. Um, if that counts for anything. No, I'm not gonna check it. Um, Diary of Anne Frank, The Archimedean War, The Art of Fiction, The Art of War, As I Lay Dying. It's not looking good. Oh my god, where is one that I've read? I know there's some on here. Uh, the Awakening, Babe. The Bell Jar is another one that I definitely want to try and read at some point in my life. I don't think right now is the point though. Like I think I want to read that one when I'm a little bit older, but it is something that I do want to read at some point. Beloved, Beowulf, so many that I have not read. I also want to read A Brave New World. I would like to read some of like the more classic dystopian novels. Like I've read Fahrenheit 451 which I really hope is on this list. And I really liked that one. So I should definitely get into those. Oh, we have one that I've read. I have read Carrie by Stephen King. It literally took 32 books to get here, but I have read one. Christine is like one of the Stephen King books that I haven't read, even though I've read quite a bit. Ooh, I have read A Christmas Carol though by Charles Dickens. Clockwork Orange and The Code of the Woosters have not read. Uh, we have some Shakespeare, have some Anne Sexton. The Count of Monte Cristo is honestly like a life goal book, but not anytime like soon because, oh my god, that book's like 1400 pages and that's scary. Dostoevsky, I do want to read Crime and Punishment at some point in time as well because like the concept of it honestly just like is intriguing. So, oh, I've actually read both of these. I have read The Crucible. I think I read that in my sophomore year English class in high school and I think I really enjoyed it. I have a copy of it somewhere. Um, oh, it's like in this stack, but um, I do want to reread it at some point. And then I've also read Cujo by Stephen King. Oh, I have also read The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. I read that sophomore year for one of my English classes and I really enjoyed that book as well. It was just a really interesting read. Oh, Fahrenheit 451. Have read it. Very much enjoyed it. Oh, I have read The Fellowship of the Ring. I do love Lord of the Rings. Uh, Fiddler on the Roof. They talk about Fiddler on the Roof so much in that show and it's kind of funny, honestly. Frankenstein. I have indeed read. I have read The Great Gatsby. Gonna be honest, I did not love The Great Gatsby. It's not one of my fave classics. I just thought it was like kind of boring, honestly. Like maybe I should reread it at some point in time, but that some point in time will not come at any time soon. 
can I get another like half check for great expectations because I have read half of that book and I was enjoying it but I started it at the end of summer like last year I think and then school started and I was like no no hard reading for me so I need to get back into it at some point because I do want to read the rest of it because that's actually what the last hours is based on like if you didn't know which I feel like a lot of people know but if you didn't know The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare is based off of Tale of Two Cities which is also a book that I want to read at some point in time and then um, The Last Hours is based off of Great Expectations. Very loosely based off of, but it's like inspired by it. You know what I'm saying? I have read Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, I have indeed read How the Grinch Stole Christmas. A classic, obviously. I also have read the Iliad, so that's fun. Oh, Jane Eyre. I think I might put this one on my 2023 mini classics tbr because i want to read this book literally so badly i was originally planning on reading it this year but i don't think that's happening but i feel like maybe at the beginning of next year that might be like a book to start or something or no i need to finish anna karenina before i start another classic but next year maybe it'll happen <laughs> little woman is also a classic that i really want to read and i want to read it around christmas time but i feel like that might be a next year plan as well just because i do not want to start it right now like, that's a thick book, honestly. Like, I know it's typically thought of as, like, a younger reader kind of book. At least that's kind of what I associate it with. But I I do not want to read it this year. However, I loved the movie. I watched the 2019 one a few years ago. And I thought it was really good. I loved it so much. And I was like, oh, yeah, I need to read the book. And then I didn't, obviously. But hopefully... I could do that next year. Clearly, I need to read some Shakespeare. I do want to read some Shakespeare at some point. I think I have... Did I get rid of it? No. Yeah? Oh. I swear I had a copy of A Midsummer Night's Dream, but I feel like I got rid of it for whatever reason. I don't know. But I do want to read that one. But mainly, I want to read Macbeth. I have read Romeo and Juliet, though. Like, a decent chunk of Romeo and Juliet for an English class in high school. Again. Like, and if it pops up, I will be checking that box. The Metamorphosis is also a book that I really want to read because I do believe this is the one where the dude wakes up and he's just like this giant bug and it sounds disgusting but at the same time I, it's just it's such an intriguing concept and I would like to read that at some point in time. Maybe I'm gonna guess 7% now. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking 20 like obviously that's not it. Oh, Northanger Abbey is on here. I read that earlier this year. Honestly, I'm very certain that I have read this Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. I read so many of them in elementary school. I also read a lot of dork diaries. More Shakespeare. The Outbreak of the Peloponnesian War. You can't tell me that a 16-year-old picked that up and it was like, ooh, riveting. Ooh, I have read The Picture of Dorian Gray, so that's good. Pride and Prejudice. I've also read Freaking Loved It. I have read The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, I'm just gonna say that counts because I'm grasping at straws here. I've also read The Return of the King by Tolkien, so good stuff. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, like I said, I'm checking it off. There are literally so many classics that I need to read. War and Peace, that is actually one of, again, my life goal books. I would like to read War and Peace at some point in time during my life, obviously, now is not the time, but it's tempting. <laughs> and Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, which I also have not read, but I very much would like to read if that counts for anything. So 6%. However, I have done better than 35% uh, of users on this list. Although the average score is 51. If I was like a classics girly or if I had gone to school for like English Lit, I probably would have been able to um check more of these off. However, I am an engineering major, so these are unfortunately not the kind of text that I have to read. But. So now that I'm thinking about it, obviously 20% was incredibly ambitious. However, I did read 21 of the 340 books that are on this list. So um, I'm glad you got this chance to see how illiterate I am. Honestly, like at this point in my life, I am happy with the amount of classics and smarter books that I've read. There's so many amazing books in like all different genres that are just like fantastic and I don't think you have to read classics to read like the best books. However, if you should want to, I do see some value in reading classics just to see like where all of these things and motifs and themes came from in literature. Like I do think that's really interesting, but do I think you have to read classics or anything? No, absolutely not. Like I 
fully understand people who don't read classics because sometimes, well most of the time, for me at least, it's just not the vibe. But every now and then, it is nice to pick one up. However, I commend Rory Gilmore for, um, I don't wanna know. This idiot managed to knock the vacuum over in the hallway, so. Good job, Winnie. I commend Rory Gilmore for being so well read, but uh, by the same token, she's a fictional character, so like, if I was a fictional character, I'd be like, yeah, I've read War and Peace. Yeah, I've read the, the history of the Peloponnesian War. I love that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like the fact that she is like a literary icon <laughs> for so many people, but at the same time, I do feel like it's just not realistic. However, I do think it's fun to have a character like that who loves books so much that you can identify with as well, so. Gotta love Rory. So I do want to talk about a few of the books that I want to put on my 2023 TBR in a second, but I do also want to quickly talk about the sweater that I'm wearing and some other pieces of clothing really quickly because the clothing brand Simple Retro actually reached out and asked if I wanted to work with them and I thought they would be the perfect partner to kind of like put on this video because I feel like all of their clothing gives like that old money. I wear this and I go to like a prestigious university type vibe, which honestly I love so much and I feel like Rory embodies that. Obviously, like I feel like she would wear this clothing, you know what I'm saying? Obviously this sweater reminded me of the sweater that she wears in the first episode of the show. I've been looking for the perfect oversized white sweater ever since I saw that episode and I feel like I finally found it because I freaking love this thing. The clothing I've picked out gives me like a very light academia vibe because it's all like neutrals but they're a little bit on the brighter side so the other sweater i have here is this little brown sweater with this like collar situation on it which i think is so cute it's also kind of like cropped so i think tugging this into like some high-waisted pants could be a really cute look i also have this sweater vest because like obviously if we're thinking academia gotta get this sweater vest going and i just think this will be perfect with like a white collared shirt obviously and then like my favorite item is this pair of pants which I have been needing to diversify um, my pants because I literally own like one pair of jeans. That's it. I love them to death, but I wear them every day and I need to like, I need to get some different pants. So I saw these like corduroy pants on their website and I was like, I've never worn corduroy pants before. And they're very like wide legged, legged, legged. Um, and they're so comfortable. Oh my gosh. And they fit so perfectly and they're so high-waisted and I just can't wait to Finally level up my pants game. So all of this clothing I love so much and honestly like everything on their website is super cute So if you want to check it out, I'll like link in the description So thank you so much to simple retro for sending me a couple of these pieces I believe these are from like their fall slash winter line and this isn't sponsored or anything But I was so excited when they reached out to me. I was like absolutely I have to include this in a video so yeah, anyway, let's talk quickly about the books that I want to add to my 2023 TBR. I'm definitely thinking Weathering Heights. I think I put this one on my spring TBR for this year, and shockingly enough, it did not happen. Also, Jane Eyre. Obviously, where you go? Okay. I'm also thinking Jane Eyre. I feel like that's the perfect one for fall. I don't know why, um, but those are the vibes that it gives me, so hopefully I can pick that up next fall. Um... I guess we'll have to see. I also really want to read Little Women by Louise May Alcott. Again, I feel like that's a good Christmas one almost. I know that it doesn't fully take place in winter, but again, those are the vibes it gives me. So those are just like a few of the classics that I could potentially maybe read in 2023. I'm making no promises, but if I could get through them, That'd be nice. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do let me know down below if you've done this challenge and if you have what your percentage is. I'm just interested to know. And if you haven't done the challenge, just let me know how you guys are doing, what you guys are reading, or let me know what your favorite season of Gilmore Girls is. I would assume if you've made it to this point, you probably like Gilmore Girls. So do let me know. I think my favorite maybe like season three. I don't love when she goes to college, honestly, because I feel like that's when she just spirals into this person that I absolutely despise. But season three, I feel like is a sweet spot because she's still at Chilton. She's not annoying me so much yet. It's just a good time. So I would love to know if you guys have a favorite season as well. And yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.